Stephen and I? Um, first things first, I need Sirianni to be quiet. Just coach. You took the team to the Super Bowl two years ago. You lost five of your last six regular season games last year and then got blitzed in the playoffs by Baker Mayfield. Not Tom Brady. Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the primary reason for that, Jeff Saturday, doggy, is that both coordinators departed. Got head coaching jobs in Arizona and Indianapolis, respectively. So I was on you, Sirianni, and the team nosedived. Now, you got Kellen Moore there as your offensive coordinator now. And you got Saquon Barkley. But make no mistake, you on the clock. We're watching you. Because if you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, they're loaded. Offensively, how much more do you need? Yeah. You have one of the best offensive lines in football. You got one of the best, most elusive backs in football in Saquon Barkley. You've got one of the top two wide receiving tandems in the National Football League in A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. And you got a big-time tight end. Last time I checked, Dallas got Dallas got her in considered a scrub or, 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 or some marginal player. The brother can ball. What don't you have yep. if you really, really look at it offensively? Now, defensively, obviously, there needs to be vast improvement, and we get that, okay? But the fact of the matter is you have the requisite weapons, and even last year with Jalen Hurts as your quarterback and what have you with the weapons that you had, nobody expected y'all to nosedive the way that you did. So I don't want to see this smile on his face and him acting like, oh, everything is peachy keen and everything is rosy and we good, we good. No, you ain't. You got to show up and show us that two years ago wasn't a fluke. Because when you look at the Eagles roster, we tend to know what those brothers are capable of doing. We've seen them do it. We're looking at Detroit. We're looking at Green Bay. I 1,000% agree with Stephen A. Just a little pushback on Stephen A. I'm used to Nick Sirianni, right? I know Eagles fans know that's just what he do. He's going to pop his junk. He's going to talk his junk. That's just Nick Sirianni. But he got a point, man. Eyes are on you, Nick Sirianni. Eyes are on you. I get it. The roster is loaded. But at the same time, a lot of people can make the case for last year. DeAndre Swift ain't no scrub. Kenneth Gainwell is fine. You you basically had Kenneth Gainwell looking like a bus. And then you have A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. And you had Dallas Goddard. And then you traded for Kevin Byard, made him look trash. So, yes, while we got all these pieces, we have to see how the coaches use them. We have to see it, man. And um, as an Eagles fan, of course, my hopes are going to be up. Hopefully we use these guys right. Because outside of the Eagles fan base, let me tell y'all, man, a lot of people believe we might dud again. A lot of people believe that. Like, we on the song. Show and prove. We also show and prove jump because recent memory. Well, recent memory is showing a lot of these other teams, a lot of people that don't really watch the Eagles as much. Well, last couple of games, they won like one in five. Like, why should they be scary? Okay. They added Saquon. Okay, cool. They did basically all the same stuff last year. What is going to change? Well, me studying the Eagles, I mean, we got better play callers because one of the problems with our play callers last year, they couldn't adjust. They was too young. They were too young. You're talking about Sean Desai, who only had like a year or two and defensive coordinator. Remember, we won it, Vic Fangio last year, but the Jonathan Gannon thing, then Vic Fangio ended up taking a job somewhere else. So that didn't work out. We just thought Brian Johnson was just going going to be the guy transition really well because he know Jalen Hurts really well. And he been under, you know, Shane Steichen. Maybe he take his playbook. Maybe he learned a thing or two and just tweak it a little bit. But that didn't happen because Brian Johnson was too young, one. And then two, Nick Sirianni start overruling Brian Johnson, which caused Brian Johnson his job. And now he got to take a step back go to the commanders and be some type of passing coordinator or something like that. Whereas though Brian Johnson was getting, you know, possible offensive coordinator jobs 
other places, which he probably should have took when you think about it, because Nick Sirianni basically took over and now he takes a step back in his career. So I will make that case that our play callers are better. A lot of control is out of Nick Sirianni's hand, and Nick Sirianni, to me, is doing what he do best. He motivates, he talks to the players, tell great stories. Um, he, I mean, I was watching his press conference today, how he was breaking down what Jason Kelsey do. He, he seems like a smart guy. Like, he knows he's doing, but his play designs are just bad. But I think he's doing what he he does best, just overseeing everything, because even if you look at some of his press conference last year, you seen the stress on his face. Like, he couldn't even hide it. Like, he was stressed out last season. Couldn't get it going. Couldn't get it done. But now when you look at the vibes for this season, anytime a camera's at any of these dudes' faces, it's laughter, it's cheer. You know, when they talk to the reporters, they talk about, like, yeah, we still got to show and prove, but you're starting to see more smiles and the team getting along, whereas, though, uh, last year – there was like nobody really getting along. We signed in a bunch of free agents during the season, so they had no time to gel. Even Kenny Gainwell admitted, like, yo, fans and everybody was seeing it. Like, nah, it just it just wasn't it. And to me, what my exposure to it was, because maybe I was blind to it a little bit too. When we played the Forty Niners, and the James Bradbury thing, like 49ers been going at James Bradbury, like basically a year since we beat them and we finally see them. They, you know, they bumping James Bradbury and the team just looking like, yo, go, go pull some helmets, get in their face, start arguing, get into a fight, cause flags. I don't care. You got to show like, yo, we ain't soft. And then when the game started, the the linebacker, I, I can't remember his name right now, tossed Devontae Smith, and that's when they realized, like, oh, this is a game. Then Big Dom, a, a guy that's not playing football, got to set the tone. Big Dom had to set the tone, and we still got our heads blown off, but that's not a good look. So had stuff like that, but I think the vibes now are, are, are totally different. So the vibe is different. Obviously, the talent is there. Um, the the coaching staff is there, but now they just got to prove it. Tomorrow they got to show and prove like we ain't no duds, we ain't no scrubs. We we got this, and let's see if they can do it. Let's definitely see if they can do it. I want to see how Jalen Hurts look. I think the first quarter, maybe the first two or three drives. It might not be too pretty. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe we, you know, start with a bang. But I spent some a, a tad bit of a slow start. Just a tad bit because everything is trying to gel. I, I don't know how these dudes are because we didn't really see in the preseason. I was at the open practice, and it looked great. I like how we was using Dallas Goddard. But at the same time, I spent a tad bit of a slow start. Not too much because the talent is there. So we're going to move the ball down the field, but there's going to be some things we need to clean up. That's that's just football, but yeah, I, that that's what um I agree with Stephen A. Smith with like, you know, there's stuff we got to show and prove, but at the same time, Nick Sirianni, we we just know we know how he is. He he's going to pop his jump. He's going to pop his jump. Whereas though the media don't like it, opposing teams don't like it. That just is what it is, but that's Nick, man, and I just learned to accept it. But was Stephen A. right on this one about Nick Sirianni and the team? Like, yeah, the talent is there, but you, Nick Sirianni, you got something to prove. Was he right? I think, yeah, because if the team fails, <laughs> no if ands, or buts about it, everybody's getting fired, one. And two, Nick Sirianni, your head coaching career is done. It's done. So you you got to show and prove, man. But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm out.